Growing inequality is hitting children around the world in many areas of life, including household income and education. We often hear about increasing wealth among the top 1%, but far less attention is given to the increasing gap between the bottom 10% and the middle bottom-end inequality. UNICEF's latest Innocenti report card, Fairness for Children, gives us a detailed look at inequality in 41 wealthy countries. The result? Rich countries are failing the bottom 10% of children. Since the economic crisis, income gaps have increased in most rich countries, 19 out of 37, and only four countries saw household income at the bottom increase faster than the middle. In the 19 of the 41 rich countries, a child at the 10th percentile has less than half the disposable household income of the child in the middle. Children from homes with the lowest household incomes are also more likely to have poor outcomes in education. The proportion of 15-year-olds falling below reading, math and science minimum proficiency is as high as 28.6% in Bulgaria compared to just 3.2% in Estonia. And though gaps in reading achievement have narrowed in a majority of rich countries, two of the wealthiest, Belgium and France, are found at the bottom of the report with large achievement gaps. These issues drastically affect children's life opportunities and their ability to succeed as adults. Inequality is hitting children right now across the developed world, in your country. There's so much outrage about the accumulation of wealth among the richest, but it's time to address how growing inequality makes families at the bottom slip further away from a decent life in the middle. More equal societies dramatically improve all children's chances in life. These nations have less child poverty and better educational achievement. Children are also healthier and happier overall. Let's put the most vulnerable children at the forefront of efforts to build a more equal world. <laughs>